the Dogs snatched their zone player tonight in the AFL draft, with Jamara Ugelhagen going pick one in the AFL draft. It took a lot of hard work behind the scenes, including swapping out and in of picks that accumulated to the amount of draft points that the Dogs would need to bid on their man. Obviously, being a dog zoned player, the dogs got a 20% discount on points, so that was awesome to be able to use that. As next year, I believe that rule changes, so that's a win. Now, Jamara as a player is pretty incredible. It is a crazy skill set he possesses. My initial thoughts were, wow, he looks like a young Nick Rewalt back in his draft year, with his ability to mark the ball in the air without a fear in the world. Very sticky hands. Also, similar to Nick with his aerobic capacity, he leads up all game long and pushes up the ground for touches. However, there is more to his game than these two abilities. The guy does it at ground level. Yep, he's super quick and agile. Once he's down, he gets back up and stays in the contest. Some of his tackling is just desperate stuff that you love to see from your best player. He moves like a gazelle with the ball in hand. I noticed how he gets his arms up high before he gets tackled as well. Reminds me of Bonson Pally in his draft year, being able to clear the ball cleanly to a teammate in precious situations. If he could have Bont's composure, then who knows what this guy could be in the future. Next thing is that smooth kick. So precise whether it's in front of goal or general field kicking to a teammate. Many times during his season at Oakley, instead of kicking a goal from the boundary line, he would pull the trigger on a crazy darting pass to a teammate in front of goal. Many times I watched these sort of risky kicks that came off really well. It will be interesting to see how these skills convert to AFL level. Hagen has a heap of strength to add to his light slender frame. I would like to see him run and carry just to see what his explosion is like. If he can bulk up but still use this pace he is blessed with, then he could be put in the middle of the ground later in his career. At this stage though, I'd like to develop him as a key forward and chuck him in the fire at training next to Josh Bruce and Josh Shaki to harden his frame a bit in the contest situations. To conclude this video, I gotta say I really like his game. It's multifaceted and fits the modern style really well. I think Bevo and the development staff will spend lots of one-on-one -on -one time at training, but ultimately I see him spending a lot of time in the VFL program, learning from Ashley Hansen. I still have hopes on him earning a call-up, but the dogs are going to be pushing for a top four spot next season, and all the focus should be on that. Anyway guys, I would love to know what you think on the draft. Any players you want me to make a video on, let me know in the comments section below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Also, if you can give me a comment, it will really help my videos a lot. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time.